inspiring the next generation of astronauts. That's the idea behind a space camp for kids in Manhattan this week. Matt King caught up with the gang today as they finished their mock mission. A meteor shower struck the only international space station in the universe located within a Lower East Side Middle School Friday afternoon, inflicting major damage to the satellite's solar panels. Anything can go wrong, and with one wrong step, you could die, and you can't go home. Back in Mission Control, 11-year-old GEO team leader Leo Iandolo understands the gravity of space travel as well as any astronaut, but his severity Friday probably qualified as a little morose for spring break space camp. Four, three. NASA discontinued its shuttle program in 2011 to focus on the SLS, a rocket to one day hopefully take us to an asteroid or Mars. But for the purposes of this program, these astronauts of New York City Public Schools still take a space shuttle to the International Space Station. Mission Control, this is the spacecraft. We are beginning our tasks. Over. Spacecraft, this is Mission Control. We are knowledge. Over. It's a very fun job. Mission Commander Catherine Brown also serves as director of the NYC Center for Space Science Education, one of 50 Challenger Learning Centers founded by the families of the Challenger astronauts. We've had kids ask if they can sleep here, if they can move in with us. 11-year-old comm officer Sarah Tsi enjoys robotics and the exploration of other planets, but expressed no interest in moving into the International Space Station for any extended period of time. I might want to be a lawyer when I grow up. But on this day, the success of the entire mission relied on Sarah's ability to receive and send messages pertaining to various experiments in test tubes and beakers moved about using robotic arms controlled with joysticks by members of teams with names like Probe, Med, ISO, and NAV. So guys back on Earth in mission control like Ian could evaluate the damage inflicted by that shower of meteors. Now we are trying to find out the density of each samples. On the Lower East Side, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.